Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10, cave beer. Which came first, beer or bread? Archaeologists with Stanford University are flipping everything we know about beer on its head. A research team led by Professor Li Liu has found evidence of the earliest beer brewers ever. If you've ever wondered which came first, beer or bread, we may finally have found out. The discovery comes from a cave in Israel, where the team discovered beer brewing innovations that actually predate cultivated cereal. This might not sound like a big deal, but it absolutely is. Beer predates cereal in the Near East by several thousand years. Beer may have also been one of the main motivating factors for making cereals later on. Let's look at the beer masters themselves. Evidence shows that the Natufian people, hunter-gatherers who lived in the eastern Mediterranean thousands of years ago, 13,000 years ago to be exact, were making homemade beer in the Rakifet cave. The researchers found stone mortars and residue from alcohol. They hadn't even been looking for alcohol when they analyzed the mortars, but found it anyway. Li Liu says this is the oldest record of humans making alcohol ever. They likely produced it in the cave for ritual feasts while venerating their dead. This is in stark contrast to previous assumptions that beer was a result of agricultural surplus. In other words, beer came around at the same time agriculture was invented. In reality, people living in caves in Israel figured out how to brew it themselves before they even knew how to plant a crop. But this beer wasn't what we drink today. It was brewed by turning starch from barley into malt, then mashing the dried malt and leaving it to ferment. Would you try this ancient concoction? Let me know in the comments below. Number 9. Tunnels Under Stonehenge Stonehenge might be one of the most famous archaeological sites in the world, but there is an even bigger Neolithic site hidden underneath it. This newly found site is a vast expanse of pits and potential underground tunnels. At least 20 pits were found only 2 miles from Stonehenge, with each of them about 16 feet deep. They form a half circle with a diameter roughly 1 mile wide. It looks like a giant crescent moon. Yet nobody is really sure what these giant pits were used for. They partially encircle a different Neolithic site called the Durrington Walls, almost like an eye with walls in its center. In fact, this entire area is scarred with ancient monuments, random pits, and old structures of both stone and wood. Some even believe all these ritualistic centers were connected via a secret underground system of tunnels. There were almost definitely roads or avenues leading from one place to another, potentially linking settlements to what the locals thought were great places of power. But archaeologists are still working to create a clear picture of what the area looked like over 5,000 years ago. These new holes are so mysterious because they seem to predate the other major monuments and are so far nothing except empty pits in the ground. Could they have once been part of a mysterious underground complex? There is a reason humans have been drawn to Stonehenge practically since the dawn of time, and we are still learning why that is. Number 8. The Importance of Jade Gold may be the most precious metal on the planet today, but not so long ago it wasn't as highly valued or considered the standard of wealth. In the world of the Maya, gold wasn't nearly as valuable as a semi-precious stone known as jade. Jade is a green stone produced primarily in Guatemala and Myanmar in Asia. Jade is highly valued and coveted in China today, but in ancient times it seems like everyone revered jade. When the Maya ruled Mexico, Belize, and huge parts of Guatemala, they loved the stone. They used jade to carve into ornamental stones, make figurines, decorate their weapons and jewelry, and even as inlays for their teeth. But why jade was so important to the Maya has been a bit of a mystery. We know that it had spiritual and religious significance. Some experts say it was the green color of jade that made the Maya associate it with both water and vegetation, the two most important things in their civilization. They also associated jade with life and death. When a person died, their families would purchase beads of jade to put inside their mouths. Maya royalty would have huge slabs of jade put in their mouths on their deathbed, used for absorbing their spirit. In the end, all we really know is that jade was hugely important to these people up until they vanished around the year 800. The Maya fascination with jade makes it one of the most mysterious minerals from the ancient world. 
Number 7. Gateway to Pan Researchers with the Zinman Institute of Archaeology discovered one of the most mysterious artifacts ever, a bronze mask that represents Pan, the god of shepherds. It was discovered at the old Roman city of Hippos, located today in northern Israel. The god Pan was half man and half goat, the master of music, merriment, and sometimes mischief. Researchers were unable to figure out if the bronze mask was used artistically as some kind of decoration or if it was used in an unknown ceremony. They thought that by excavating the large building in which it was discovered, they would get more information on the mask. At first, researchers thought the building was part of a city fortification, but over about a year of excavating, they discovered that the building was actually part of a larger complex with a huge gateway out in front. It dates back at least to the reign of Emperor Hadrian from 117 to 138 AD. We are now pretty sure that the mask was fixed to a wall over an altar inside a compound connected to the gateway. But now researchers are trying to figure out what the gateway was used for. The monumental gate structure leads into something that may have been a sanctuary in honor of Pan. Perhaps in honor of Pan and other rustic gods that we don't even remember today. 2,000 years ago, worshipping Pan almost always involved drinking to excess, performing some kind of sacrifice, and participating in some very adult rituals that usually meant everyone had to be naked. But because even 2,000 years ago this kind of behavior was frowned upon, the worship had to take place outside the main city in a cave or a natural setting. Based on the mask and the huge gateway, it's safe to say archaeologists accidentally found Pan's sanctuary where some of the naughtiest ancient rituals in Rome were likely performed. Number 6. Mystery of the Varna Gold The Varna Gold is one of the most mysterious caches of treasure ever discovered. It was found in prehistoric graves in Bulgaria and is direct evidence of the first social hierarchy known to humankind. The problem is that nobody seems to know what caused this great civilization to suddenly vanish. The gold was found in the Varna Necropolis and is in fact the oldest gold treasure in the world. It dates back to roughly 4600 BC, with the necropolis itself being discovered by accident in 1972 by an excavator. In fact, this place is only about 30% excavated even today. And already, 294 graves have been found, with most of them containing examples of highly advanced metallurgy, mostly gold and copper pottery, along with flint and obsidian tools. Whoever these people were, scientists refer to them now as the Chalcolithic Varna culture. Let me try to convey just how much gold was found here. Many of the graves were empty of human remains, but piled to the brim with artifacts. One grave in particular, Grave 43, contains more gold than has been found throughout the rest of the world for that time period. Another mystery is trying to figure out where these people even obtained all of the gold. They must have had trade relations with distant lands, but we don't know yet which ones. We also don't know where these people went, as all archaeological evidence of them vanished in 4200 BC, or over 6,000 years ago. And now for number 5, but first I want to give a big shout out to Joanne Breeze and Mario Theme Song. Thanks so much for watching and supporting this channel. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. We've got lots of videos coming up. Number 5. Mysterious Burial Artifacts In December of 2014, archaeologists discovered a pit in Karnak, Egypt. After spending about a month excavating it, they pulled out 38 mysterious objects. Most of them were ancient statues. They included at least 14 figurines of Osiris, three statues of baboons meant to represent the god Thoth, two statues of the goddess Mut, and a massive statue of the god Ta. There were also some other statues and figurines found, including a small collection of sphinxes. The mystery quickly became this. Why were so many statues buried in a giant pit? The ancient Egyptians buried the statues of their gods over 2,000 years ago, as if they were burying actual people. The biggest and most impressive is definitely the statue of Ta, the god of craftsmen and sculptors. And seeing as the pit was found next to the temple of Ta at Karnak, this isn't a huge surprise. But here's the thing. Each artifact was buried in a very specific order. Then at the end, the massive statue of Ta was brought in and put over the smaller artifacts. A wooden effigy was placed beside it, 
some smaller artifacts distributed around that, and everything was filled in with dirt. On the top of the dirt pile was placed a massive limestone sphinx. We know how this happened, but we just can't figure out why. Number 4. Ancient Cannabis Traces of extremely potent marijuana were identified in wooden artifacts buried alongside people who lived on the Great Silk Road 2,500 years ago. This discovery marks the earliest evidence of humans consuming cannabis as a recreational drug. These artifacts are wooden bowls, excavated from graves at the Jurazankal Cemetery. Inside the bowls, archaeologists found small stones that had at one point been exposed to high heat. They were likely used as braziers for burning incense and plant matter. And by plant matter, I'm referring to cannabis. Exactly 9 out of 10 braziers showed trace cannabis residue. The big difference between the residue found here and cannabis residue found in other parts of the ancient world is THC. There have been plenty of cannabis discoveries that date back further than 2,500 years, but these almost always involved using cannabis for clothing or rope. The cannabis at the Jerzankal Cemetery was found to contain extremely high levels of THC, the actual compound that causes mind-altering effects. According to National Geographic, this suggests the people living in this part of Central Asia were cultivating specific strains of cannabis just for getting high. In other words, these people were a bunch of ancient herbalists of a sort, maybe even the first in the world. Number 3. Roman Sarcophagus in England an extremely rare sarcophagus from the days of Roman occupation has been unearthed in London. The stone sarcophagus is one of only three that has ever been found in the English capital. It's to be put on display at the museum in London, along with the remains of a woman from 1600 years ago who was found buried inside. What makes the discovery of the sarcophagus and the mummy even more mysterious is that she was found with the bones of a baby, a chunk of gold, and a gemstone. The gemstone was carved with an image of a satyr, a type of human-slash-goat hybrid that was popular in Greek mythology. Researchers believe the woman was in her 30s when she died. She was buried sometime between 86 and 328 AD. At this point, you're probably wondering where a Roman sarcophagus could possibly be found in modern London. It was discovered at a new building site in July of 2017, in part of what was once a Roman burial ground. It was a few feet underground with its lid already pried partly open. Unfortunately, no other sarcophagi have been found just yet, and nobody knows who this woman was in life. Judging by her impressive collection of jewelry, she was probably of some significance in Roman London. Number 2. Stonehenge Dog Tooth A tooth was discovered near Stonehenge, but the tooth doesn't actually have much to do with the monument itself, seeing as it belonged to a dog. Experts are saying the tooth is direct evidence of the earliest journey taken by people and their canine friends into England. It also suggests that people were visiting the very place where Stonehenge stands now 2,000 years before the monument was ever built. The shape and size of the tooth suggests that it came from a domestic dog. Archaeologist David Jock says the pup traveled at least 250 miles from York with its owner just to reach Wiltshire, where Stonehenge is. But again, this has nothing to do with the henge itself and rather with the area. David says the fact that a group of people traveling with pet dogs came so far just to reach this specific place shows how important it was. But still, nobody can figure out why. The discovery also shows a lot about ancient dogs and their relationship with humans. A collection of bones found near the dog tooth suggests it ate a pretty good diet of salmon, wild pig, and red deer. This means it must have been eating whatever its humans were eating. Even 7,000 years ago, people didn't get far without taking their dogs with them. Number 1. Neanderthal Cave Structures A collection of mysterious structures has been found deep inside of a French cave. Archaeologists believe they could be some of the earliest human building projects ever, from 175,000 years ago. However, the mystery here is that nobody is quite sure what their purpose was. Neanderthals were living in this French cave over 100,000 years before modern humans ever set foot in Europe. These cave-dwelling hominids constructed something from over 400 stalagmites. They pulled them from the ceiling of the cave and then stacked them on top of one another to create a basic set of walls on the floor. 
Some of these walls were built four layers deep. Some were propped up with stalagmites wedged vertically, and the biggest wall was about 21 feet across. Marie Soressi from Leiden University says this is completely unique in comparison to anything we've ever discovered about our Neanderthal ancestors. She also went on to say that she finds the constructs extremely mysterious. One of the walls shows signs of fire damage, suggesting the Neanderthals may have been trying to build fireplaces inside the walls. Whatever in the world they were trying to do, this is now the best evidence of the first construction project ever undertaken by human hands. Thanks for watching! What was your favorite discovery from today's video? Let me know in the comments below and be sure to subscribe and come back soon for more amazing discoveries! See you next time! Bye!